Uh, thank you. It's a great honor for me uh, to receive this prestigious award. I express my heartfelt thanks to all delights that enable me to achieve this goal. Um, I am from helpful thanks to the uh, science fathers and I'm humbly thanked for the commitment members who select me as a qualifying for this award. And I also thanks for uh, motivating me to uh, continue having the highest level of uh, dedication um, to towards research and innovation. Um, so, let me make a brief introduction. I'm a, a, a um, say, um, associates uh, in the engineering department in the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And uh, um, my topic is mainly about interpretation uh, of the wind induced effect of a uh, bluff body by data driven physics perceived mode decomposition method. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna talk about the, the background part. So, I see in this slide, the wind induced effect of a bluff body is engineering applications such as civil transportation, uh, aeronautic energy, ocean, and environment engineering. So for the wind induced effect, we know it could cause uh, wind disasters on uh, bridges or the buildings, as shown in this animation. And therefore, it, it will endanger the structural safety, hidden comfort, and service durability. So understanding and modeling and component of the uh, very uh, central focus, which has a um, achieve uh, many researchers in years. When induced effect is caused by flow separation, vortex motion, and the wind force when uh, flow past the bluff body. A, a well-known uh, flow mechanics once claimed that the tendon of the moving flow is the vortices. Uh, therefore, interpret mechanism of wind induced effect of bluff body from vortex dynamics. It's challenging but also significant. It helps for wind resistant design and beneficial to build reduced other models. For targeted controlling and accurate uh, prediction of flow induced vibrations. So those benefits on um, the motivation are many the motivation of my uh, study. Uh, we know that uh, the oncoming uh, flow properties is uh, diversities. Based on the variation of uh, uh, the wind speed and the directions uh, in vertical, wind profile is uh, many can be classified into three types. That is the uniform flow, the conventional type, and the twisted type. The uniform flow has a, a constant flow speed and directions. And it's normally used in the fundamental flow mechanism research for generalization. For CWP, wind speed is varying while wind direction remains constant. The CWP is very more common in practical engineering and atmospheric boundary layer. The TWP is generated because of the geometric shape of the uh, mountain is non-uniform, which leads to wind speed up and the deterring effect. Uh, and nowadays, due to the land shortages, high-rise building and group and linked buildings become very common. So as effect and the interference effect become more and more important. When induced effect, it's an autonomous dynamic system, which can be experienced by these equations. However, this dynamic system uh, is uh, hard to be analyzed 
by traditional physics-based method due to its intrinsic characteristics such as the non-linear and high dimensionalities. So in order to understand the mechanism of van der Waals effect, data-driven method is a more preferable way. So in my study, the data-driven physics perceived multi-combination method are used to solve the dynamic system. First, I would like to talk about why we name it as the DPMD method, and what does these three adjectives respectively stand for. So the traditional physics based model that are derived from the dif differential equations is highly rela relied on the industries. However, its effectiveness um, cannot be always guaranteed for following reasons. Uh, in contrast with the advancement of the data and the computer science, data-driven techniques offers a promising way. Um, it uses the previously collected data as the observables to identify in current uh, characteristics and to predict the future trend. The two typical types is the neural networks and the dimensionality reduction algorithms. So in my study, um, the, the, the data-driven method um, are many reference to the, the second type that is the dimensionality reduction algorithms. So this method have a very good performance in uh, some uh, in some aspect and uh, no more limited to the physical formula de de derivation. Uh, the DMB is very good and it is very applications in uh, design, optimization, and for control. Better way to uh, a way to better understanding the mode of flow is to um, you know, to uh, report is as um, a as dimension of uh, building into several components with different priorities, such as this uh, aligning members, the members, and so on. In the same way, flow can also be divided into a models to different importance, such as the main mode, the primary mode, the secondary mode, and the one century high mold in uh, most of the cases. And the physicist perceived here means that it can extract the temporary evolutions and special uh, morphology features of the coherent structure. So, as um, sta stated above, the um, The research gap are summarized here. However, there is a uh, still lack of um, uh, interpreting a uh, wind induced effect mechanism with uh, powerful techniques, especially on the different flow conditions. So, in my study, the, uh, the wind induced effect of the bluff body on the uniform flow, on the three type of flow, that is the uniform flow. The CWP and TWP is interpreted by DPMD method uh, from the vo uh, vortex dynamics and coherent structure. So here, the wind induced effect refers to three aspects. That is the wind field near bluff body and the wind loading on bluff body and their intercorrelation. So we aim to reveal flow patterns, pressure patterns, and build the correspondence between um, then, from perspective of mode-based by no contribution, energy transfer, and the, the, the spatial temporal correlation. So, the, uh, so, um, so in this in my studies, um, uh, we aim to we aim to achieve four main objectives. So, um, so first we we would like to propose some uh long method. And then for uh, the three different uh, flow condition cases, we respect uh, respectively investigate the, 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 the underlying mechanisms uh, of the wind induced effect. Um, so um, based on these studies, 
um, by by using the DPMD method. Um, so my study uh, could provide reference for accurate and efficient modeling, predicting, and the optimization and controlling of fluid related dynamical system. So in part two, uh, with um, I would like to introduce the, the, the method. So uh, first, I will introduce the conventional DPMD uh, method employed in this study. Um, as we know, the ICA is a tool for blend uh, cell separation from a uh, mixed signaler. A common example shown here is listening to uh, one speaker's uh, speech in a very crowded, noisy room. So I say it's suitable for processing non gaussian signals and extract a statistical independence of component. The POD decomposed the feed into a series of uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors that is specially uh, orthogonal model from a second order statistics. The eigenvalue is used to ra rank the models and calculate the model coefficient. Uh, Complement theory is suitable to deal with nonlinear dynamic system. By introducing the linear Kuhlman operators, the state of the nonlinear dynamic system can be lifted to a observable space where the, uh, the, the dynamics become uh, linear. However, the dimensionality of this observable space is the uh, infinite. Therefore, the uh, valid dimensional mapping matrix A is used to approximate the, the Kuhlman operators. The mapping matrix A links two data uh, snapshot sequence x1 and x2. So, for the purpose to solve the, the map mapping matrix A, So the DMD and uh, to solve uh, the matrix A, the DMD and uh, its uh, variant um, is introduced in this slide. DMD is described as a um, um, baby of the principal component analysis and the Fourier um, analysis. The physical quantities of the uh, collection points formula. One slab, several snapshots are organized into uh, input matrix by doing single value decomposition and um, you know some approximation here mod ship and its frequencies and growth rate can be obtained by solving eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, of matrix A. When we identify the, the no dimensional subspace by solving optimal problems, OMD helps ob obtain smaller residues errors, more accurate eigenvalue. Um, the DMD cannot process nonlinear systems with the uh, uh, and the, the the spectrum and for the case when the spectrum and spatial uh, complexity does match with each other. Uh, as indicated in the animation, that is to reconstruct online dynamic structures from the behavior of signals using um, the liquid and living process. Strontium demaster can be a of problems. The expression is So the three lower DPM demaster are developed to construct the correspondence between flow field and the, the structure response. The first method is to describe pressure model contributions to the wind node. The second method is to mirror energy transform between flow field and structure response. The third method is to map flow modes correlations to correlation of a wind node. So due to time limitations for the detailed mathematics, please refer to chapter three. 
to generate design twist when profile in antenna. Uh, the novel addressable wooden wing system with roughness uh, element is used. The uh, arrangement is shown in uh, this figure. Uh, the full property of the targeted wind profile is described as follows, including the, the wind speed, um, the turbulent intensity, and uh, so on. Uh, we used this uh, uh, following uh, four main steps. The first step is input the inlet boundary condition at the empty domain and the the twist angle is simulated by composing the wind speed. The inflow turbulence is simulated by a technique named the NSRFG. The second step is that we should monitor the flow property at the central of turntable location. And then we need to adjust the input uh, wind process by using the the, uh, the, the following uh, equations we define. So the, 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 the last step is we finalize the inflow boundary conditions. And uh, then we uh, exalt this uh, finalized uh, boundary condition on the calculation range, range with uh, the, the building models. Uh, so by Comparing the, the flow property, uh, properties, as we can see, we compare the flow properties uh, obtained from the targeted case and the, uh, what we get from the Winton experiment and what we get from the large AD simulation, numerical simulation. And we compare all the um, flow properties in terms of the wind speed, uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the turbulent intensity and the twist angle, and then the, the power spectrum. And as we can see in this slide, it turns out that the, this targeted wind process can be uh, successfully repli re replicated in the wind tunnel and the, in numerical simulations. Um, <clears throat> So based on the, 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 the introduction and the literature report, uh, part, we, uh, we propose several uh, objectives. So after the, the, the uh, systematic investigation, we can obtain the, 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 the uh, target. So for the objective one, we propose to develop a lover a DPMD and the TWP replication method. It is done. And uh, um, actually, in fact, the three lava DPMD methods are developed to build a correlation between flow field and the structure responses. And uh, similar, uh, in the meantime, the lava TWP replication method is also developed in a wind turn and numerical simulation to simulate the TWP induced wind effect. And for objective two, um, we uh, understand the wind induced responses of a, a twin a tendon centimeters in a frame and forced vibration on the uniform flow. And we also elucidate the mechanism of flow structure interaction based on the mode energy uh, transform. For uh, objective three, we clarify the pressure mode patterns of long Gaussian flow field of isolated and laboring buildings on the uh, uh, conventional wind, wind profiles. And we also construct the mapping uh, relations among unsteady aerodynamic loads and wind pressure modes and the coherent uh, structures. For objective four, uh, we uh, 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 clarify the aerodynamic characteristics of the um, twist wind profile induced wind effect of the, the, the buildings. 
And we also elucidate the essential mechanism of uh, twist band effect from the perspective of uh, a coherent vortex structure and its spatial temporal correlation. So that is the all the reference. Um, thank you for your attention. Uh, if you uh, have any questions or want to discuss with me, uh, you're welcome to uh, email me. So that is all my um, presentation. Thank you for listening.